which way did he go, George? Which way? Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was very rodent of you. Wait. I hope uh, it drops in front of him. <laughs> Whoa, well, are you okay? <laughs> Satyrs are fast. <laughs> we can I mean, we kind of got hooves. Uh, you're Ronan's brother, right? Uh. Oh, no, not another one. Another what? <sighs> Look, little dragon. I don't care how many people my brother, no, my brother sends. If he's going to keep on trying to tell me that that what he did was okay. Oh, I'm not here to tell you what he did was okay. I'm actually curious what you want to do. I ask because, hmm, not to go into too much detail on my end, but I know that when I wasn't happy with my family, I did what I wanted and never looked back. Because I knew it was the best thing for myself. You, you seem like you you want to do things for yourself. So what's stopping you? Everything that Ronan did was to protect me. How can I just kick all that in the face, man? Well, because in the end, you got to do what's right for yourself. And he thinks he knows what's right for you. But that's not always the right thing. Because he's not you, is he? Just like my family is not me. My family cannot and will not tell me what to do ever. Because I am Hoopla. <laughs> she uh, pops her back up to look threatening. I do what I want. <laughs> so what do you want to do, big satyr man? I want to clear my brother's name. I uh, hope it flies up in his face. What was that? I can't hear you. I want to clear my brother's name. Oh, sorry. I think I got something in my ear there. I guess. <laughs> oh, one more time. Okay, um, it, at this point, Ray has led um, Ronan to them, and just as he says, I want to clear my brother's name! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pell looks up. Uh, Ronan? <clears throat> thought, I'd, thought I'd find you here, or rather, the wolfy man did. Uh, yeah, Ray gives you a dirty look. I was about to say. I beat you to it! Nini! And uh, this Ray... is why you're the reconnaissance dude to do that. Uh, Ray comes over and kind of picks up Hoopla. <laughs> uh, come on, I think we should give Goat Boys a little time to chat. Oh, you're no fun! It was getting good! <laughs> uh, Ray just kind of breaks you just far enough away. He's like, shh! Burn out a spy quietly. Geesh. They say I'm a big mouth. Ronan's still... No, Ronan. Pell is still um, looking away from you. <clears throat> Listen, Pell, buddy. There's something I gotta tell you. What? They are not going to let me take the fall? No, actually, I'm gonna say that I'm still not that I'm still not gonna rat you out, but I'm not gonna stop you from clear from. But I'm not gonna stop you from telling them. Uh, Pell gives you a surprised look. Wait, <laughs> really? Yeah, I kind of realized that in my well, I didn't really realize it. I had it hammered into me by a but 
Aren't you freakazoids? <clears throat> Anyways, I, I guess in my effort to protect you, I kind of suffocated you and took away the chance to grow up. But you should know I was only doing it because I care for you, you big stupid knucklehead. I love you too, now you dumb hornhead. Of course I didn't want you to take the fall from me. It was my screw up. I should have been the one to tell the, not to tell them what happened. <clears throat> and I should have given you the choice to, the freedom to do that. But like the big, it dumb it, but like the big dummy head I am, I toasted your chestnuts and turned myself in. You, you knew that was against the laws of the herd, and you still did it to protect me, even though, even though you knew what would happen. Just, I really, really didn't want you to go. It's been so long since you left, and I've I been all by myself since then. And I, and I wish I didn't put you through that. I didn't... <clears throat> I was just trying to look out for my bras, and I've been a real bra on the head. Pell looks up at Ronan, and his eyes are just full of tears. I didn't care about getting in trouble. I just wanted my big brother back. And I just wanted my baby bro to grow, to grow up and be happy, but I took that away. How could I ever be happy without the without the best big bro around? Probably the same way I couldn't be happy without the best little bro ever. It pal pulls Ronan into a hug. We're bringing it in. Bringing it in, dumbass. My little buckle. My little buckleberry. My little. Uh, you little... feel a, you feel a kick on your leg. <clears throat> Sorry, my little puck for nickel. Uh, uh, Pell pulls back a second, and he charges at you just hard enough to knock you out. You're on your rump. <laughs> Why that? It, he just glares at you, and then he actually cracks a smile, and then he just starts laughing. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> 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 you're, such a, you're such a dummy. Yeah, well, where do you think you get it from, brah? <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure didn't get it from Cybul. She's the smart one around here. And Pal offers his hand down to help Ronan up. I go to reach for it, but then... Psych! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know it's gonna be harsh, right? I know, but I should have no, but I should have taken responsibility a long time ago. And I should have let you take that responsibility, bruh. My little, my little pug pinnacles growing up. <laughs> All right, let's go make you the town pariah together. <sighs> well, at least there'll be one more thing we have in common, right, bruh? <clears throat> oh, that? And, that? And the talent for the drink, bruh. Bruh! Bruh! <laughs> 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 Why is she laughing? He says 
something in here. <laughs> oh, and dude, just where I properly introduce you to Phoenix. He's gonna love ya. Oh, God. <laughs> Doggy, how? how do you do this? <laughs> oh my gosh. He you're impossible. You do these impossible things and I don't know how you do it. Okay. Um because I'm a prepared toadstool. Why did I, why toadstool? Because frog butt was too gross. Um, sure. Why not? Uh, give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm still number one professional DM. And I'm a professional actor. Can you tell by my mucusy voice? <laughs> well, at least you're talented. Mm -hmm. Wow. You shush with that noise. Stop, bro, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, bro. One more, bro. <laughs> One more. So I guess this means you don't want to go. <laughs> you knew it was coming. You freaking knew it was coming. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going. <laughs> Assuming that Dogie's come back? I am back! <laughs> you sound like you are seriously about to murder. Murder! <laughs> perfect, I'll be perfectly in character because I doubt Phoenix has gotten his full sleep yet. Anyway, we're coming back to the Seder camp. Uh... I'm right behind you, brah. Literally behind you. Uh, yeah, a but um, Cybel has gathered a number of satyrs around for um, teaching about some of the local plants, and um, you all have very wisely opted to not wake Phoenix up. <laughs> Whoever is the holder of the brain cell this time, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna say that was a, a Simon decision. <laughs> <laughs> Not Master Simon, it looks like they've returned. It's that Simon, Simon looks over. And uh, he does it, and he sees a whole bunch of smiles on their faces, and then he just kind of gives a sigh of relief. Okay, it worked. Cybel looks to Hyacinth. Well, I've gathered the best. I've gathered the, the best foragers of the herd. Excellent. As soon as it gets closer to nightfall, we'll be able to forage. That's usually the best time to find plants. Not too hot, and it's in still enough light out where you can see. Well, it, it is getting to be dusk. I just mm. can't make dusk effect look effective on these maps. Okay. I think there's an important thing that's about to happen, though, before we go out foraging. Hmm? What? What is that? Hyacinth nods over to uh, the group with Ronan and Pal and the others. I as well diffuse attention first. Hey, hey, hello out there, dudes! Uh, 
Nessus and Grover turn around, and Nessus <laughs> immediately, you can see his eyes flash with anger, and the, the other satyrs all kind of, like, step back. And Grover looks at Ronan, and he just gets this big smile on his face. Ronan. She nods towards Cal. You called my attention for a reason. <clears throat> yeah, about that. Something, something you all, you all should know. I, as many of you know, I'm kind of the lo, kind of the local pariah. Nessus grumbles. Gee, I wonder why that is. You know, you you know, you'd be a lot more pleasant without that stick up your butt. I'm um, there, Nessus. <laughs> <laughs> Nessa ca Nessa calls over. He has to keep his flute somewhere. Oh! <laughs> anyway, the truth. The truth of the matter is, I have been living a toll lie. <clears throat> huh? I, no, the sages look confused. What happened to what happened to our herd leader? It wasn't entirely my fault. I Pel, took the blood. Pel um, elbows him. Okay, okay, I had nothing to do with it. I took. I took the blame for some, for someone because I wanted to protect them from the consequences. But by doing that, I denied them the chance to come clean and grow from the experience. Nessus's jaw basically hits the dirt, and all and the other satyrs are kind of looking between each other in shock. I'd close and that mouth, Nessus. And bugs are probably gonna fly in there. <laughs> <laughs> There'd finally be something worthwhile inside. <laughs> Shots beyond fired. Anyway. <laughs> but yes. Grover, well, I... Grover smiles and comes over. I knew it. I knew you couldn't have been the one to do it. That's right. I didn't do it, but that doesn't make what I did do any better. He did it for me. And the satyrs all look over at Pal. It was my fault. I set that trap prank. I just meant to give Cybo a butt of a butt full of of thorns and it misfired. Actually it didn't now, just mi actually it didn't just misfire, it exploded. Okay, it exploded. But she lost an eye because of me, not Ronan. And Ronan figured out it was me that it was me right away. So he took the fall to protect his baby brother. Uh, if Nessus's mouth were any wider, you could probably fit Shay's ego in it. Oh! <laughs> wow! Jeez, Ellie! <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> You know, Nessus, the last. We you know, Nessus, the last. We love you, Shay. You know, Nessus, the last time I saw a mouth that wise, it had a fish hook in it. <laughs> Leave me out of this. I'm hiding behind Bata. <laughs> Bata pets you. Cybel smiles. And the truth comes out at last. <laughs> so, Ronan, welcome it home. Yeah, about that. Hmm? <clears throat> See, the thing is, while I do, mi do miss being back, and I miss all my bros and my sisters from other misses. <laughs> Give me a moment. <clears throat> I can't come back just yet. Pella looks at him. What? 
See, I'm kind of on a mi on a mission with these guys, my other family. Some really bad mojo is going oh and down in, in the wild, and we're kind of the only few who can fix it. Wait, so you know why we were expelled from the Feywilds? <clears throat> yes, I do. But, but to cut a long story short, we're gonna fix it. Hmm. All right. Sounds good. But then, when we're done, and thing, and the mojo has been fixified, we're we're gonna party like Saturday night, bros. <laughs> The satyrs all start like <clears throat> dancing around, and they're just that they're all s jumping around, super happy. And the drinks are all gonna be on Nessus. <laughs> Wait, what? Just what kind of gold do you think I have? Enough, to, enough to feed a whole village, bro. Just making up for lost time. No one was meaner to him about this than you, brother. <laughs> Bruh, this is seriously harsh on my schmallows! <laughs> <laughs> nice. In the meanwhile, I have to speak to Prim no to Mayor Primrose. I believe she'll be happy to hear that. We've found a way to solve this alcohol issue of ours. Miss Hyacinth, I leave you to teach. I leave you to teach the satyrs. <coughs> Hyacinth nods and turns to the foragers. Shall we? <laughs> and she leads uh, them off into the forest. Okay, so. I'm going to time skip the... Okay, I'm going to... Uh, well, it doesn't have to be a time skip if y'all want to, like, have a conversation or anything. I can't... I got nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so... I will time skip this to... I already yeah. stuck Nessus with the bill. What more can I do? <laughs> <laughs> nice. And if anybody... Father's Phoenix right now. <laughs> there will be dire consequences. <laughs> there will be grave consequences. Okay. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I, th I okay. think I do. So, um, anyway, I'm going to skip it to night time. Yeah, because of the now because of teaching the uh, satyrs about the plants in the local area and, and teaching them how what plants can and can't be made into alcohol. There's now there's a lot less tension between the halflings and the satyrs. And in fact, Hoopla's input has helped them to has helped them to increase their inventory because there were some plants she showed the satyrs that the halflings did not know about. You mean Hyacinth, not Hoopla. I said Hyacinth. I meant Hyacinth. Okay. I heard Hoopla for some reason. I'm like, what? I didn't do squat. <laughs> I, I heard Hoopla also. I'm sorry. I I guess I can't tell the difference between a tree and a and a tiny drag. Um. So there's a huge party that night. People are dancing around the fire. Ronan is playing music alongside Nessa on a couple of halflings, and everybody's laughing and having a good time. All of you dancing around a huge bonfire. Ooh, about to dance. Okay, um, 
Krebs, Hoopla, possibly, <laughs> and... <laughs> I, I can imagine, like, Hoopla is fluttering and holding out to his hands while she, like, just flutter, flutters around following him. <laughs> what follows is a lot of white boy dancing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are watching Red, he's actually tearing it up. Like, this boy's got some super hardcore dance moves. <laughs> you see Utu kind of scurry around, trying to keep up with Ray, And then she kind of scurries over to Ronan. And does... You know how, pup, how puppies will sometimes kind of sit on their on their hind legs and hold her paws up to someone when they want them to pick her up. Yeah, she's kind of doing that to Ronan. She's accepted me! I picks her up and I holds her. Utu wags her little tail happily. Come, my robotic bra! Meet me on the dance floor! Uh... You see Bree just kind of caught the up, uh, kind of conked out on one of the um, benches. She looks like she's had a long day at the tavern. And yeah, it's just a big old party. And Ooh. party on. It's gonna be a very hungover hoopla later on. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not again. Also, yes, I am losing my place. Uh, don't worry, we're almost done. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm almost like, uh, I'm getting to the point where I can't really play the game without turning to uh, substances, if you know you what I mean. You guys find yourselves swept away. Whoop! To the ah, oh, not this again. <laughs> what an incredible dance. The free movement. The joyous laughter. The union of two different... Of two different lives. And the exposure. The truth. Um, come on, horsey bra. Me and the, me and the doggo were having a moment. <laughs> Your grandness, did we solve the riddle? Indeed. And a bad decision has been rectified. That she smiles. It was never Simon that I was referring to. So, uh, is it too late to say, my bad? <laughs> she just giggles. Your grandness, I have yes. a question. Yes. When the wild, when the wild's magic was exposed, Simon was exposed to it and is changing rapidly is there a way we can fix this or at least slow it down so it doesn't consume him in a matter of days or weeks come to me young one Simon just kind of very tensely walks up the grand Steely looks you over. Hmm. This is not born of my particular essence. But I can tell you, he is in no danger of, of being consumed. Why? Why are some consumed and some not? Hmm. Who can say? Perhaps it's in his blood. Half day? <laughs> Something in his blood. 
genetic, maybe. Like I keep saying, it's in the DNA, dudes. <laughs> oh. You're not, Hyacinth, Hyacinth you're not being turns consumed to, by it. Hyacinth turns to Simon. Was any of the others, like Iris, were any of them half fae or were they fully human? It, it was a little bit of a grab bag. I think maybe this is... I, I think I should probably say this. I never knew my father. You only knew your mother? Was your father Fay, or was he human? Well... I don't know. Well, if your mother was human, that would mean... My mother is human. Then that would mean your father is Faye. Well... I think that that's a good place to end (laughs) the chapter. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, 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 I'm going to step out for now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next time we do this, I'll try to have the session a little earlier. <laughs> we, did, we did the thing. Yeah, this we is did the a, thing. This yeah. was a hefty session. All role play. <laughs> I'm <laughs> over it. Hours. Woo, and, I was in the, and I was in the spotlight. <laughs> you did pretty you well. Did. You did very well. You, you did. did really well. Yeah. It's you like, did. dude, if you, it's like, if you told me that this is your first time being in a D and D campaign, I would have called you a filthy liar. <laughs> you well, filthy, dirty liar. <laughs> well, there's still the matter of getting the right roles and such. Well, yeah, but that's ev- that's something that everyone has to deal with. That's by chance, Joy. You you can't control that. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are still there are people who still ha- who who have been playing for months who still have trouble navigating their character sheets. <laughs> Sorry, I got something in my throat. <laughs> Why do I feel cold out? I have to say, I have to yeah. say, when it's like we need more alcohol, I nearly blurted out, "Where's Heroes Feast when you need it?" Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just, don't, don't, don't take it. yeah, everyone has trouble navigating the character sheets, and I'm not looking at anyone in particular. Shut up, Josh! Okay. Josh, I didn't say a gosh thing darn thing. I to jump so loudly because I'm like, I have <coughs> out of character knowledge, it's the alchemy jog. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, everybody was reacting on panic, so, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of just had to go with it because you guys. Well, the thing is, is that the alchemy <laughs> job was modified to only produce water, so. Yeah. Um, uh, was it? Yeah. Oh. That. I thought it was so, it just a regular alchemy taken, job. Yeah. It would have taken. Uh, it would have taken probably a day to re no, to remod it to be um an al- alcohol producer. No, oh, I thought it was just smoother to be uh compact, not just water. No, I said he created it more compact so it makes water, but so he can carry it easier. But it does make water. I just did a smaller thing for flavor because yeah. why not? Ah, okay. Yeah. Completely misheard <clears throat> that then. And also confession time, Ellie knows this. For a moment when I was first telling the story, I actually forgot what the unspeakable thing was. <laughs> I can <laughs> Tell by the way he was dancing around it. I need a refresher. Yeah, he pulled me. It's creepy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause like it was so bad that Ronan didn't even want to talk about it. Yeah, that's that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, it was that, a good cover up. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's the thing. You already understand the principle of fake it till you make it. <laughs> that is a that is a that is the principle of 
really any performance art and you nailed it. <laughs> is it is it bad of me to admit that I kind of already figured out what the riddle was talking about from the get-go and I knew it had nothing to do with Simon? <laughs> It's just obvious. Satyrs, dancing, partying, a bad choice. Hmm! Ronan? Yeah, no, no, what I did you do? Okay, you won't tell us what you did. But I tried to protect baby bro! <laughs> that was, I that think was, it was really funny. great roleplaying. I, I, just I, lock I, me up and throw away the jail. <laughs> 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 you protect baby bro, go to jail. Lie to your leader, yeah. right to jail. Yeah, Drink Katie too much was, beer, I would like say the, the fact that Ronan was like on the verge of like dying scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I'm just, like, oh we can't lose him. Yeah, that was a, like that, that was really intense. That was like, oh no, not the comic relief character. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I just zoomed? Yeah, Felix was going like a bat out of hell. He wanted to save Ronan. Oh my heart! He really does care. Oh. I think he gets 90 feet movement in combat round. I think he can go pretty freaking fast when he wants to. Uh, also, I have to say the best scene is the scene between Ronan and Pal. Yes. Uh, that was so good. I was like, I am on the verge oh, of tears. That was really great. Oh my gosh. For a moment, I, for a moment, I actually kind of was myself. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh, no. Was, it was well done. Yeah. Oh, oh, by the, oh, by the way, uh, Phoenix, uh, 90, 90 feet per combat round. That's the equivalent of 60 miles per hour. Yep. Uh, Phoenix was going 60 miles. Oh miles per hour just to get back to Ronan. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Phoenix is yeah. run and dash the thing was going through my mind is, is uh, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. And when it came to hiding Ronan, don't be suspicious. 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 <laughs> yeah, no. When, si when Cybal saw you in the office and when she looked at your hair, she actually kind of nat 20 that perception. Oh! <laughs> she, she was gonna see him no matter what you did. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, can I just squish him in the wall so he doesn't be seen? Damn! <laughs> I was so close. And I don't think if I went invisible and covered his face, that would have covered his invisibility too. I would just put an invisible dragon on his face. <laughs> yeah, um... But uh, hey, why didn't you guys think of the first grand seal you found? She yes! Was... I like it's it. It's a unicorn! It's so much it, it kind of makes <laughs> me wonder. Okay, she has to be the pretty one, so who's the ugly one? Oh, <laughs> oh no. I have a feeling we might come across a wraith at one point. I'm betting that one of the grand seal is a wraith. Ah, uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a wraith. We're screwed. Scorpion. Uh, all I, I can, a all no I, joke. Yeah, all I can say is, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, just because I'm a selfish little thing right now, what did you like of Phoenix at the start? <laughs> I didn't even see you. Phoenix suddenly so having magic. Oh, you have a yeah. sword. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, Ow. Koki, can oh. you make a, um, make a, a, like, a little collage of pictures that's like, where's that whispering coming from? It's coming from the sword. Yeet! <laughs> 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 I'll tell you what's better, I'll make it into animatic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's be, well, yeah, that means I'm going to have to turn off the recording, so. Before you do, before you do, you're a wizard <laughs> <laughs> I have good news for you guys. Because you found a Grand Sealy and con because you convinced her, you will get a level. Woo! Alrighty. <laughs> level up, baby! Take so, yeah. Um, I think that'll do for tonight. Yay. 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 <laughs> Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> so, um, 
We'll figure out the next session when we can. All right. Bye bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye, Logan Propane.